Hey, how you doing, guys? I right, hot doy. Welcome back to Clip Pro. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up. Okay, the notification bell so you'll be notified when we do upload. I want to greet you in the matchless name, the most I Yawa, and it's only be rotten son, Yeshua Messiah. Okay. The way we're going to go into this video, this young lady, uh, she has something to say about the American workplace being a um, plantation, a new age plantation. So let's go ahead and reveal what she had to say. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section. Remember to like the video. Bye. You see, this message is for everybody at Jamaica who are killed themselves for come a foreign. Foreign nice, you know, me not lie. Foreign nice. There's a lot of opportunities here, but uh, one thing people not telling you about foreign. And when time people do tell you about foreign, you know, things say them bad mind and they don't want to come here and the whole shebang, shebang. So let me tell you about foreign. There are opportunities in America. Me not lie about that because things where we can attain in America in a small period of time probably will take somebody a lifetime in Jamaica to, to reach those same achievements, right? But with America, I have to understand that this is a plantation. The society was built off of the same formula that they use to maintain the plantations. So when you're coming out of the workforce in America and they tell you about the American dream and you did it, try to catch the American dream, which is the house with the white picket fence, the husband, the two and a half kids, the good education and the big job, and all of these big cars and everything where you have to maintain. The catch is you're going to work till you're dead. Till you're literally dead. Turn over. Resurrect. Your sewer come back in our new body. And work again to pay off the American dream. Okay? So me I tell you now said the American dream is a fraud. You can come come get it if you want. But you are going to work till you're dead. You have people who in them 50s, 60s right now are work double shift, 16 hours a day, them are work. And then can sit down, pa, then can go to do go sit down and chill and laugh, laugh with them bridging like how you do a Jamaica on the job. Then can show up late a morning time, then can I go, then can have bad customer service, then can drink one beer pan them break. Then can do none of that. Them have to go at work and you literally walk. Some people only get one 30 minute break in a eight hour. When you're supposed to get 2.15 and a 30. And when you're 8 hours done, your boss come and tell you, say, yo, you have to stay, you're mandated to work another 8 hour shift. And because you have to pay for all of this American dream where you got trust from the bank, and you have all of these loans and debt, you have to stay there to work that other 8 hour. Right? So, run come and fire if you don't want, but me I tell you, say, be prepared for the truth. And the truth is, you don't go work till you're dead. And if you don't work till you're dead, you don't go almost dead. So here I want to do. When you come a foreign, have a 10 year plan. You work, you work hard. You get every money where you can get. You send your money back a yard. I don't want to hear about how you make a violent. I don't want to hear about that you buy a piece of land and you build one house. And you put on one car down there. And you cut. Yeah, I just want to make a quick point, guys. Ever since the abolishment of slavery, with the white men in particular, they started manufacturing machines to start manufacturing stuff like materials and fabrics and all of that. And ever since they started that, they needed a workforce. Hence, people would have money to buy those products. And then that was the start of what we call the industrial age, right? which we are still in and now is still in advance even more to the technological age, right? As we heard from this young lady, whether she just didn't learn that through our experience, as they say, experience teaches wisdom and it is the best teacher of wisdom. So whether she knew that before, but I do think she actually learned that through her own experience and she actually gave some plausible 
car plausible. Uh, she actually gave him plausible solutions going forward, but yeah, for who don't know, the workplace is a new age plantation and they just give you enough, keep you coming back to work and like one person say, they would never pay pay you to be their neighbor, they wouldn't pay you to be on their level, right? Like the, yeah, the young lady is suggested they're the best way, especially for immigrants. In most cases, when they go back home, the money is actually is actually worth more where they're from. So it would make sense to actually go and build and at least spend a part of their their retirement and all of that in comfort. Being that to, to the exchange rate would be actually financially better wherever they're from in most cases from what I know so yeah she made a very plausible and sensible suggestion right there so yeah guys I don't want to run a video up too long I just want to let it know what's going on and as I said if I don't make a conventional or regular type of video that I do make please like the video the same way run it up right run up the likes because that's the way you to promote the video especially to other people who have never seen the channel and the videos can definitely help so like this video so it will be promoted to other good people like yourself right to be frank and yeah, I do appreciate all y'all watching the video. I appreciate my subscribers. Can't stay enough. How much I love you guys, okay? Here we have a wonderful thing over here going on. Alright? Y'all be blessed and made the most of that art. The mighty creator of heaven and her, Yahweh. Bless y'all and bless y'all family for this coming season and the new year. Okay? Y'all have a good one.